One of the great new features of Google Drive is the ability to use an add-on to create Avery labels. To do this, I'm going to start by going to Add-ons on my menu bar. When I click on Add-ons, I'm going to go to Get Add-ons. When the Add-ons menu pops up, I can either search Add-ons to find one that I want, or scroll through, and I'm going to scroll down for this until I find Avery Label Merge. I'm going to click on Free. It will ask for permission. I'll choose Accept, and it will take a moment to install this add-on to my Google Drive. When it's done, I'll get a little message up at the top, and it's now ready to go. When I get started, it gives me some directions. First thing you need to do is create a spreadsheet with the data that you're going to merge, and you want to give your columns a name in row one. I've already done this on a sample spreadsheet. I just made a simple address spreadsheet with name, address line one, and address line two, and entered some sample data. Once you have your spreadsheet created, you're next going to go to Add-ons, and you're going to choose Avery Label Merge, and then New Merge. This will open up your Merge menu. You're going to start by choosing whether you want an address label or a name badge. I'm going to go with Address Labels, and I can now choose the type of label I'm going to use. I'll go with this one for now and click Select. The next step is to choose the spreadsheet that goes along with it. It will show me my most recent ones here in the menu, and I can also search if it's a spreadsheet from long ago. My sample labels are right here, so I'll select them and click Select. It'll take a moment to process the spreadsheet, and then on the right-hand side, you're going to get a menu called Avery Label Merge. Give it a moment to process the data, and now you can simply click on these different headers to add these items into your label, which is going to be right down here. So the first thing I want, I'm going to add my name. So I'm going to click on the Name box. It's going to come up with the name in my fake label here. I want address 1 on the next line, so I'm going to press enter and click on address 1, and then enter again and click on address 2. Once I have all of these in here, I can highlight and format like I would any other document. So let's change our font to something a little different, and I think I'll make it a little larger. I'm going to come to my More button. And I'm going to open that up and choose to center my label. When I'm happy with the way that it looks, I can double check my information over here, and then I'm going to click Merge. It will take a moment to process depending on how much data is in your spreadsheet, and when it's finished you're going to get a pop-up box that looks like this. Click Open to see the results, and you now have a sheet ready to print with your labels. They do recommend printing on a blank sheet of paper first just to test to make sure that the layout is okay, but after that you can run through your regular label in the printer and it will create your final printed labels for you. So a quick and easy way to use add-ons and Avery Label Merge to create a label uh, for addresses or as name tags.